OK, joined by Conor Scully, the Nafina coach here at Parnell Park after a side's go-ahead Dublin Senior 1 football semi-final win over Ballyboden St. Enda's 1-14 to 7 points, the final score. Conor, uh, you must be delighted with the performance and the result here this evening. Yeah, delighted with the performance. Um, we came in targeting the performance after the Whitehall game. Uh, Whitehall pushed us right to the end and uh, we're targeting the performance today and, and we got it. Yeah, conditions today for people at home mightn't have seen it. it was a, it, you had a very strong wind in that first half, but you used it obviously very, very well. You were 10 points to no score up just before half time, 10 points to one at half time. So you used that wind very, very well in that first half. Obviously, that gave you the platform to go on and win the game. Yeah, we saw the previous game and uh, a lot of shots falling short into, this, uh, into the church end. And um, we knew we got the right people on the ball and used the wind. We, there were scores there to be had. Did you feel after the Whitehall game there was another level to your performance? Were you disappointed with that performance the last day? Did you feel you had something, I won't say something to prove, but another level to go at today? Yeah, we were disappointed um, coming off the pitch. Um, strangely enough, when winning a quarter final, but the lads were disappointed uh, because they knew the performance could have been better. But to be fair to Whitehall, Whitehall came with a, with a serious game that day. Anto Holly had them up for it and they were ready and they, they, they pushed us all away, which, which actually. Uh, we, we've, we've carried into this uh, semi-final. Um, you've been performing pretty well uh, this campaign. Um, how do you feel you are set heading into the final in two weeks' time against a, a to-be-confirmed opponent, either Chemical Croaks or Thomas Davis? How do you feel you are set at the moment heading into that final? Uh, listen, we're, we're improving by the game, which is what we're looking for. We've Through the groups, we've improved by every game. And uh, today was certainly our best performance to date, but there's still plenty of areas we can improve in. Uh, so I suppose nothing's going to change. We'll target the performance, whoever it's against. It's going to be a very tough game. Uh, we'll spend the two weeks preparing for whoever it is. And uh, nothing really changes, um, whether it's a semi-final, final. We'll go after the performance again. And we look for improvement. There's, there's certainly areas we can improve. Finally, I think it's uh, I think it's 2005 since is the last time Nafina reached a, a senior football final here in Dublin. Uh, so this is a big occasion for the club over the next couple of weeks. It's a big uh, big deal to reach a final. It is, yeah. It's a it's a big deal, and it's uh, just desserts for these players that have worked so hard over the last few years. Uh, but you know, it, the the hype end of it is for supporters and maybe the younger members of the club. These lads are going to knuckle down Monday night and get back training. And that, that's what we're going to do. It'll be the exact same preparation. And uh, as I said, it doesn't it, today didn't really even feel like a semi final. We were preparing for a match, and, and we came in and we delivered a performance. And it'll be the same in two weeks. We'll we'll target the performance, and. Um, just on, on, on one other note, just on behalf of this group of players and, and the Nafina club in general, we'd like to pass our sympathies on to everybody down in, in, in Vinnie's and uh, particularly the Mullins family and uh, all connected to them.